Hi everyone, welcome back. I want to look at the collective reading for the week to see what we're dealing with this week. I'm going to use the Ember and Aura Tarot. Oh, I absolutely love this tarot deck. It's just divine. It's divine. And I'm going to look at the shamanic healing cards to pull the overall energies of the week. And then I'll be using the Universal Rider Weight Tarot. Uh, to clarify any messages that I need. So let's pull out the Empath Oracle first. Oh, sorry. This is the Shamanic Healing Oracle. Okay. And let's see what sort of messages we are picking up for this week. a lot of indecision in the air i'm already feeling that this i mean as i've said that this dick just this um this deck <laughs> oops this deck just kind of flipped in and of itself like it's just all it's a mess it's a mess so you were probably feeling like a hot mess this week oh talk about freudian slip honey that could be a masculine energy you're dealing with okay let's let's do this again <laughs> wow, what a way to start this week. Okay. So like I said, indecision, indecision confusion. Maybe things just flipping around really quickly so you feel like you're losing control and you're not able to get a full grasp on things is what I'm kind of feeling right now. So it could be a week of high octave um, energy and a lot of action, energetic and physical action, I'm seeing, okay? Okay, deck. Divine timing, okay. Now that is a beautiful message to get. I know it could be very frustrating because divine timing implies that you're not going to get things to happen when you want them to, but rather um, as all the pieces fall into place and all as all the puzzle pieces find their home, you're going to get what you desire. So you are working towards something here. I'm seeing that you're hoping and dreaming. This could potentially be a, a love connection here. I see two Tweety Birds up here. I also see the third eye. So it's about trusting what you know and what you see. Um, really getting in tune with that intuition here, okay? So let's define timing. Healing energy. Lord, this whole, this is the, looks like a hand in an egg, in a nest. So that kind of is telling me that your hand is required in your rebirth and your healing. That, you know, healing is just not going to do itself. You're going to have to actively participate in this healing journey here. So that's just you waiting to be re reborn. Your healing is going to give birth to a new you, is what I'm seeing here. Grounding. The need to ground and honor your energy. I am going to pull that out because that is very important to me. Um, <clears throat> with grounding and honor your energy coming out together here, I'm seeing a direct call from the universe for you to understand when you need to withdraw and where you need to invest. So this could very much well be an energy of you maybe overdoing it at work, perhaps putting too much into a certain situation that is not yielding any results for you. And more so than results, understand that the divine timing card has come out because results are going to happen when they need to. That doesn't mean you should invest any less or, um, you know, not put your thought and, and emotion and energy into this particular situation or person, whatever it may be. But what I'm seeing here is that you are trying really hard in a situation that is not giving you any sort of reciprocation. There is no reciprocal quality to this connection, relationship, situation, you know? You know, it's that idea that you cannot pour from an empty cup. So honoring your energy is pulling back and saying, hey, I've been pouring too much of myself into something and that person is not pouring enough back to me. There's no equality here. There's no reciprocity here. So I'm going to withdraw until there could be um, some sort of equilibrium achieved in this connection or situation or whatever we're dealing with, okay? So I'm seeing that you need to honor your energy here and you need to ground yourself by withdrawing, specifically by withdrawing, you're going to ground your energy, create a little bit more calm around you. And as a result, 
I think you're going to probably see things a little differently. You might realize that you've never wanted to invest in this situation to begin with, or perhaps you need to expect more. And in order to, actually, you don't need to expect at all, but you need to ask for more. I see a lot of you could be in this situation because you've allowed things to play out a specific way, but you haven't really vocalized your opinion or your thoughts or your feelings. So you're being asked to honor your energy. So honor your energy by vocalizing what needs to be said, by withdrawing when you need to take back something for yourself, and by grounding your energy. This is beautiful. And that is going to put you onto that path of healing and rebirth. I'm seeing that we need to change our habits here, is what I'm getting. Is that there is an overgiving that continues to happen, that doesn't give you anything, that just depletes your energy and leaves you just completely feeling worthless and low and gives you a lack mentality. But it's because you keep knocking on a door that is not answering. So we need to change our toxic habits here. That is a level of toxicity, okay? Overgiving. Understand that overgiving is still a form of imbalance. Sometimes people feel like giving is the best thing to do. And because they're giving, they're the only ones contributing. But no, the act of overgiving is an imbalance in and of itself. It's just as bad as not being able to give at all. Okay, it, be, it means that you're not honoring yourself in the process. You're continuing to find or look for validation externally. You know, you give to get, you give to be validated, you give to, um, you give to receive. Now, giving is a beautiful thing. But for those of you who are giving without any expectation and are sitting in a beautiful energy of healing, this message is not for you. This is specifically for a group of people who are just overgiving. Okay, I used to be an overgiver too. Heck, I still am in many ways, but <sighs> old habits die hard. So I'm going to go to the Ember and Aura deck to see what other messages we can pull out here. Once I figure out my setup here, you'll be able to see the tarot table that I'm using and you'll be able to see the cards come out as well and how I spread them out here. out the one that hits me face up is the page of cups which is the daughter of cups in this deck here isn't that a beautiful card lord the emperor and aura tech tarot is just so beautiful sorry i'm dying got a battery there i got a notification so you know oh i just saw ace of cups you need to fill your own cup and recharge do you understand what just happened there you need to fill your own cup and recharge you're giving too much. But in this case, the Page of Cups here, as you can see, this person is completely bathing themselves in self-love. So I think the illumination and the clarity that you've received here is that you're not going to get what you need from the situation right now. Nothing's going to be returned to you the way you deserve. So you're going to go within. You're going to adopt a mentality of self-care and you're going to start nurturing yourself. Okay? And this water here is very indicative of love and emotion. So much beautiful energy here. You're going to make yourself your prime focus is what I'm getting and that third card that came out is a Sun of Wands, which is a Page of Wands. So I've got two pages here, okay? Pages, as you know, for me at least, are the signifier of a new beginning happening, an emotional renewal and an action, 3D-based, passionate renewal. So by filling your cup, I already see counterparts here. I already see a beautiful feminine energy of emotion and I see a beautiful, confident, masculine energy of action here. I'm seeing that in order for there to be love and equality between these two folks, there needs to be a healthy level of self-love that you cannot pour from an empty cup. You have to, you have to, what am I seeing here? Notification. Love. It's clearly this is a love reading too, but I'm seeing that this week, you're going to have to withdraw and prioritize yourself. That's the need of the hour. Okay. That you're going to have to, as much it may hurt you to pull yourself away from this person, you're going to have to do it so that you can recalibrate, rejuvenate, reflect, and reignite what makes you you so that you don't constantly lose lose yourself in this overgiving habit that you've got so it's a toxic pattern that needs to be let go of but as you as you honor yourself you're going to really realize that the universe is already working in your favor that the universe is working to bring this union or this connection or this situation have you um come together beautifully as long as you honor yourself in your healing journey so honor your energy Practice self-love, 
work towards a rebirth. It's all divinely timed.